recommend your reading for um, October the 2nd through October the 8th. Uh, this is a general reading, so if you'd like a more personalized reading you and focused, you can uh, find that information below in the description box where, um, you know, on YouTube where it says show more. And also this is for your sun, moon and rising and the links to the other videos will be in the description box also. And links to my website you can see. Find out a bit more about me and what I do and what I offer. Um, now normally, oh first of all I thank you so much for the love last week. It was amazing. Thank you for all the new subscribers. It was just, oh, lovely. So fulfilling. Thank you for the readings. Oh, it was just beautiful. I really appreciate you all. Um, uh, you know, I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, if you like this video, if you share, you know, to share if you feel inspired, and if you comment or give me any kind of feedback, I always try to answer every comment, and I really appreciate that. Um, good or bad, it's fine, I'm open to it. Now, um, normally I do these readings and um, and I do the general reading for each day, but I've been directed to do a fluid reading for the whole week. So I've still pulled out the same amount of cards, but it's not tied to any particular day. It's fluid. I, I've been directed by my guides to do a more fluid reading. So this, any of these messages can, it's all about the whole week. So, you know, this guidance is for you to be aware um, of the energy of the whole week. Um, so let's start with the card shall we and the first card that we have is the Eight of Pentacles, right? Now this card signifies a change, right? Your life is changing, it's like she's about to give birth, right? And once she gives birth, both of them, their lives are changed forever, you know, nothing will be the same anymore. And that's not necessarily bad, you know? It's it's beautiful, it's like something they've anticipated is going to happen and, and, and then their life changes, you know? It's going to be different. So this indicates a change coming. Now, also when I see the, when I see the number eight, for me, right, it's two circles balanced on top of each other. I always think of balance and when it's this way, you know, I really wanna do it. It's like the infinity sign. So I feel that, to me, this is, first of all, when I, when I think of the infinity sign, I think of stay in the moment, right? This is about the richness of the moment, like celebrate this time. This is coming to an end, your life is about to change. Be in the moment and really enjoy it. Really enjoy this moment and rejoice in the moment, right? Think of, you know, look for the magic in every moment. Um, and, and also anticipate something amazing, wonderful. See an optimistic future and an opt. This is embrace the change. Change is inevitable, right? You know, and and be a champion for change as opposed to a victim of change. That's what I'm getting for this. Um, so that's you know, there's things are going to change this week. Well, listen, we have this full moon. Uh, coming up on Thursday in Aries and also at the same time we've got all we we've also got Mars and Venus that's going to square Pluto right this is this and Mars and Venus are going to come together several times during this month so it's a creative manifesting energy and then we have seven planets right in cardinal signs well cardinal signs are you know about the spark initiating taking action putting all the brilliant ideas we've had into action so i could go on about the astrological um things that are going on but i just thought that that was poignant there so also okay so i'm not i'm, I'm gonna get to that in a minute now we also have the knave of wands this is Listen, this is the messenger, opulence, darling, abundance. This is good news coming to you. This can be um, money coming to you. It can be a promotion. It can be a new job. It can be a new career, an opportunity, an incredible opportunity. Some You're going to get news of this. And I definitely um, see that in the cards. So this is, 
something that's going to come up for you sometime this week. And I also get the Ace of uh, Swords, which is a brilliant idea to me. This is this can also be news of something, but because it's from the intellect realm, I'm thinking it's a brilliant idea that's going to kind of pay off. Now, keeping in mind that the full moon is like shedding a light on something. So the truth kind of, something comes up, right, for you. And you've got the tower card, which is a transformational card, right? So this is also transformational, right? Things are going to be different for you. When the tower, I'm telling you, I'm getting champion for change. When the tower comes up, it's saying there's major change in your life coming up, Aries. And if you don't, if you're not a champion for change and you're not making that change yourself, it will be changed for you. It's the tower's about something's got to go. Whatever it is, it's got to go. And um, if you don't, leave it or let it go it's going to be ripped away from you it's that kind of thing but it's something that's really look it doesn't feel great sometimes at the time and sometimes this moon this full moon is really an intense time we've got all this intense astrological transits going on right so it's very some of us are going to feel it more than others so this could be an intense feeling time and sometimes when the tower comes up it's feeling some, you've lost something, right? Something's being taken away. But every time that the tower comes up it's something that it's got to be taken away to allow something beautiful to come in. Because I have something very beautiful. This could be, this could even be a lover, right? It could be... It, it, it's something that's it can be a ha it can be an apartment it can be a job it can be a lover it can be you know it can be a, it's a loss of some sort and it's something that's got to go it's the tower burning down you know um this also this card particularly makes me think that some secrets are going to come up and have to come up into the light and it's not a good feeling right because and it's so funny because it's right around this full moon so things are going to come up secrets are going to be revealed sometimes it's an, a denial that we've been put suppressing this pain down look when you think about it if something's in the dark it's festering and growing and has a lot of power when you bring it into the light it loses its power and it's like okay the good news is that this stuff is coming up and now it can be dealt with right so you know it's hard it's a hard thing to deal with right sometimes but it's it's necessary it's really important that you do deal with it and then you can move forward because it looks amazing this is definitely i'm definitely feeling like secrets aren't something from the underworlds coming up and it's that's definitely the energy of uh, you know squaring Pluto Pluto is definitely playing an aspect of bringing things up from the underworld so some shadowy side some information is going to come to you either that you know and you've been denying or your secrets or somebody else's the truth is going to and the truth shall set you th free I'm really getting that whatever it is this truth shall set you free. And darling, you've got the you've got the knight of chalices, you know? He's he's this is like knight in shining armor coming into you. This can be a new oh, I'm definitely getting that. This can be a really this can be your you could meet the one. For some of you, you will be meeting the one. Because not only do you have the knight of chalices the knight of cups right you also have the lover's card this is somebody that's going to come in really fast energy somebody that's just going to wish in sweep you off your feet and you're going to fall madly in love this can also mean that in your for some of you it is letting go of old relationships so that this can come in this beautiful incredible the one is going to come in for you now i would normally say the lovers all, this is about relationship this whole energy that we're going into is about relationship 
right? We're in Libra, you know, it's about relationship, it's about, this is a, normally I would say it's about compromise, but this is a deep, deep connection with someone. And it's kind of, I'm feeling it's new. I feel like somebody's gonna fall in love. This is like, or, you know, you're gonna get a deeper understanding with someone. If you're in a relationship, it can be falling in love with your husband or wife all over again. This is a really deep, deep connection, a soul, twin soul kind of thing with these two cards together. I'm getting that. Um, this is a beautiful new love energy being infused into your already relationship or really meeting someone and really falling in love. And... Uh, but something's got to go before you do that. So it might be an old relationship that you have to let go of. I'm not sure, Aries, but that's definitely what I'm getting. And um, <clears throat> then we have the Nine of Chalices. This is a very funny card in here, right? It's like a pregnant lady or an old lady with a big belly. I'm not sure. Um, but she's looking up. So it's almost referring to something ethereal. It's like, a, for me, I always say that this is a higher vibration, right? It's about bringing, manifesting something, but it's about spirituality. It's about focusing on your higher self and the higher plane. When you're focusing on that, you're raising your vibration and you're, you're attracting things anyway amazing things is you you become this magnet because you're you're vibrating at a higher um octave kind of thing and so so this is underlying and we've got the queen of swords on top now the queen of swords is this incredibly attractive intelligent cerebral female that everyone's attracted to until they get to kind of know her and then they get freaked out because she's about telling her truth and she'll, you know, her tongue's like a sharp sword, <laughs> sharp knife. So she kind of tells it like it is. So when she comes in, right, to me it's saying, be softer. Look, she, these cards are gorgeous, right? So this is about raising your vibration, bringing in kindness and compassion into your relationships. Definitely be respectful. I'm getting that in a, in a big way. And when you're communicating with someone, communicate with kindness and compassion. Be softer. Soften your language. Don't be hard. Look at yourself. This is a time that we have to look at ourselves and say, okay, you know, we're coming into this definite um, astrological energy where we're going to get some major personal growth and it's a time to ask ourselves what do we like in a relationship are we dominant do we give our power away do we take their power you know what are we like and we have to look at ourselves and 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 really acknowledge where we need to change so this is about being raising your vibration be more spiritually aligned when you're more spiritually aligned you are kinder and you are more compassionate, and you are softer. So it's really important, you know, to Aries to, to soften your language. Think before you speak. Try to reach for kinder, more compassionate words, but it is still about telling your truth. It's important not to lose that. So definitely speak your truth but speak it in a softer way, right? You attract more bees with honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> anyway, Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all, and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.